Lila Spring here after what was a fantastic effort by the Golden Eagles against the number 17 team in the country. And Lila, I know obviously not the result you wanted to, but how much do you guys gain from pushing this team to overtime? Um, I think we gained a lot personally. Like We were down one of our main players as well, so I think it was a really big team effort and everyone found their spot today on the court no matter what it was, whether it was cheering, finding near people inside, shooting, driving the ball, we found each other really well tonight. Talk about surviving that, that scoring drought that you guys went on the first quarter. It was about five or six minutes where you guys couldn't make a basket. What was kind of the, the, the message when you guys started kind of getting the – how did it feel to kind of survive that and get through? Um, yeah, it felt really good. Obviously, you're going to have those little droughts, but we just kept pushing. We didn't drop our heads, and we kept driving, kept shooting, and then they did fall when we needed them to. Talk a little bit about your performance, too. 28 points in this one, a new career high for you guys here at El Trip. What was working for you down low in the post, especially against another big team with a lot of six-footers? Um, well, I think it was just getting into my position early and then the team finding me inside, going up, just getting my shot and finding myself, really. When you think about the, the second half in this one, too, you knew Casper was going to make a run at some point in time, the, the type of team that you, you expect it from. You guys did a good job of handling it, though, and then calming yourselves down. What was the message from Coach whenever you guys were in those timeouts? Because there were a lot of chances for her to talk to you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, so we obviously knew that they weren't going to go away. I mean, they're, they're a good team. I'll give it to them. But we just knew that we had to keep our heads, play solid defense, and I think we did a really good job of that tonight. And, you know, but they're going to make shots. And the shots that they didn't make in the first half, they made in the second half. And I think we did a really good job battling tonight. Talk about the team effort, too, and we'll wrap it up with this one as far as passing the ball and moving the ball around. Because you guys were really doing a good job. You mentioned it, finding you down in the post quickly. And I think that was the biggest thing, is, is spotting it. How has that improved for this team? Um, I think it's definitely improved a lot from the start of the season. The start of the season, we were a bit slow moving the ball around. But now I think we've really found our rhythm as a team. And we trust each other. We know where we're meant to be. And that's what worked for us tonight. Fantastic effort, Lila, for you and the rest of your teammates, and we'll look forward to seeing the next time you play Casper and get some revenge. 100%. Tough loss for the Golden Eagles in this one, but what an effort, Coach, by your team. That that was probably one of the best games you guys have played start to finish all season long. No, it really was. Um, again, I asked them to, to find their, uh, their energy, uh, find their reason why, and find a way to play 40, 40 complete minutes, and I thought we did a hell of a job of doing that tonight. We just came up a little short. When you guys saw the ball go into the post, other than a little bit of a burst there at the second, at the end of the second quarter and beginning of the third quarter by their big number number twelve, what was working for you on the inside defensively? What did you tell the team? Um, for our defensive effort, it was just to double on the ball and to do our work early and not her game, let her gain position. Um, she had a couple a couple tough buckets, um, honestly down the stretch there. But again, it, it's, it happens. And we know they were a good team and that they were going to make a run. And it was more about our response um, to that run, and I thought we handled it well. Lila Spring, what an improvement she's had from becoming here where she was still trying to feel her way out to, to where she's at now. How much has her improvement helped this team? Uh, tremendously. Uh, we always knew she had the potential. Um, it's just a shift in focus now, focusing on the game and focusing on what she brings to the table and just making sure she show up and punch the clock every night. Talk about the passing, too, because a couple of players didn't have their shot tonight, which you're going to have happen, but they were able to find other people that did have the shot. What, how was the passing on this team? Uh, it was actually, actually coming into the game, I told them before the game, like our game goals today was to try to limit the turnovers. And obviously, we had some a few down the stretch, some important ones, but also to put some energy into the basketball and move that thing around. We haven't had double-figure assists in a while, and when we share the ball and move the ball around like that, um, we have some success. When you talk about this, too, and we'll wrap it up with this question for you, Coach. When you talk about a game like this, whether the result was a win or a loss, how much momentum can you take out of something like this against a team like Casper? Oh, man, it's super deflated, so I won't even lie about that. But at the same time, my message to the team is, you know, I, I understand that it hurts. But again, to play against a team like that that's nationally ranked, if we can find a way to play that way, we'll see them again really soon. Should be a good game when you guys match up against them. Long time to get to that one. we got Central only on Saturday. But, Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you.